Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Baha Shem, Baha Shem Rakakwadash, the barns of the apostles of great millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a short lesson in regards to the Nova Scotians or New Scotland or Scotia, which means black or dark. In Scotia. It's named after a, a goddess, you know, because, uh, you know, prior to uh, us, prior to Esau, you know, like coming back to power, you know, Israelites was on top. And um, we had colonies, you know, the Magna Carta, you know, that, uh, you know, th that we came to the new world as well. And as we ran Europe and, um, and the tribes came over, you know, uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, right? Let's get a couple of scriptures in regard to that. But, um, you know, you look at this, uh, well, the Red Cross, right? That's a cross, you know, between star, you know, because um, all these fraternities or uh, these secret uh, meetings or these secret these secret societies it was established by uh by eight you know like by the jacobites right the sons of jacob you know um like the jacobites the stuart dynasty and then uh the hasmonia dynasty you know they ran like uh the york right and then you had the scottish right or the or the scott right right they had uh because they were heavy into uh you know botany and certain things and um deep understanding you know and uh you know they're doing a lot of witchcraft too our people that's why eventually you know that we fell but our people are still doing that same shit but you know this is a very good movie to watch because you know they were black they're dark men they're black you read uh watch about you watch those series the vikings and stuff so our people has already been here um you know the like my i i come out of that stock through my mother's side like mateus da costa right because uh his his parents you know a lot of them like they were already coming back and forth to newfoundland you know that whole um you know like that like that whole nova scotia right so um said miguel Input Miguel. This what the hell is it's like here. Because court or court it means uh royal. All right, royal court, right? So we already had these stuff, you know, like these things, you know. Yeah, I don't want to go through that too in depth, but basically, uh, there's a lot of history. So let's start off with um, Second Ezra's thirteen. To put this on mute. So lucky. Like, yeah. Says uh, Sarak or Ecclesiastical uh, Nostas, Second Ezra 13, Sakya. Leave us 40. Second Ezra 13 and 40. These are the 10 tribes that which were carried away captive, that were carried. These are the ten tribes which are carried away 
prisoners out of their own land and in the time of their in the time of Hosea or Hosea the king Us Salmanazar, the king of Assyria, led away captive, right? Because basically, after the fall, when uh, after King Solomon died, because basically the Lord he he uh, he he punished you know Solomon. He he told him that you know that your house is going to be rent, right? So uh, the house was rent. So we had the southern tribe, which has been. Uh, Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Then you had the ten tribes. That was uh, like there's many wars on in the land of you know the land of Israel, and basically uh, the heavenly father was he got fed up and he uh he let, he and he used the Assyrians to lead away uh the ten tribes into captivity, and basically uh, we're gonna read who Sam Nazar the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters and so they came into another land you know and basically uh we were led into captivity you know and but they took this counsel among themselves that they should leave the multitude of the heathen and go far into a further country where never mankind dwell because basically uh during the time of solomon and and uh david you know um uh, like uh, like the Haram Abif, you know he, uh, you know he was like he was a, a mason, and he was uh, he was into those crafts and all that, and uh, he uh, they had like you know like they had a, a a big enterprise. They would get a lot of uh, certain certain precious resources to the New World, you know, to uh, like you know like throughout the uh, Americas, Central America, South America, certain islands. So it would take it would take them a year and a half to uh, you know let to get certain resources and go back into the land of Israel. So it would take three and a half years. Right? They that they might them that they might their keep their statues which they never kept in their own land because our people was doing all kind of idolatry and wickedness, man. You know, and our people are still doing it. You know, all kinds of different. Uh, right what they do for them for the most high then showed showed signs for them and held still the flood till the t till they were passed over right and um, yeah that's what happened all right so I'm gonna keep on going one second One second. Here. Bear at me, brothers. And it says, it says, for they, it says, for though they were, for though, it says, for through that country there was a great way, namely a year and a half, and the same was called, the, it's called Assyria, or uh, no, Slakia, called Osirif, which means new land, right? Um, Basically, I mean, new land. They, so they came to the new world, you know, and um, there were like the Phoenicians, right? There were men of the sea. And uh, let's keep going. Then dwelt them there until the latter time, and now when they shall begin to come. So, you know, with the whole colonies, you know, um, you know, they set up the like, 13 colonies uh, throughout America. You know, throughout the, the East Coast, you know, going all the way to Canada, the Upper Canada, Lower Canada. You know, Matthias the Costas, who was eventually he was in part of it as well because he was a mediator between. Um, he he spoke at least six different languages, and uh, and they say that Malvin, they say that Sam de Champlain. I'm doing some research. They're saying that, you know, that. Um, He's a Israel, he, like he's a Israelite stock because uh, basically our people were kings during that time, right? And basically, um, this is a white man who basically says that um, if I could find that, because there was a uh, if I if I could find this this in the in the description, there's like a documentary that this, they're talking about that like this image of this man 
he doesn't look like that you know he's a he's a black he's a dark skin man all right and there were explorers right but basically we all fell because it was the, it was the time for for you know for it was the time for Esau to like to come back to power because we were knowledgeable of the sea of arts you know of map making uh everything revelation 20 and 1 Revelation 21, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key to the bottomless pit, and a great chain in his hand. So the so the angel is Yahushai, and basically, he's the one who set up these kingdoms, right? And basically, we're seeing the fall of their kingdom, you know, before our, our eyes, because, uh, you know, it's going to only take the Lord one hour for for this place to be totally wiped out. Cause, and it's already prophecy because uh, we see what's happening with with uh, around the world you know so um, you know we have to watch as well as pray man because things are going to get a lot more intense and he laid hold on the dragon that old serpent right so the serpent from the garden right which is the devil right which is you know like which means deceiver and satan and bound him a thousand years so so the wicked they were bound a thousand years you know um you know that they were known as the wild men you know and um basically like they didn't have no uh no like they were brought very low man they were in the caves you know and they were uh you know like they were messed up man but um, no certain things that we have, certain knowledge that we have, Esau, like Esau, uh, erased a lot of that information because, um, you know, uh, you know how Esau is, man. But um, so I'm gonna go and uh, get a couple pages off when Scotland was Jewish, which is not ish, right? Just Judah, right? Because call yourself a Jew is like a like derogatory. You might as well, like, according to the Bible, to you know, the proper term is is um is Judah, right? Not ish, because because they want to take on that identity for the most part. But you know. This is a very good book. Actually, I I, pro I probably can't even think, cause it's a PDF. It's a, you know, if you, I'm sure that like you could download this on uh, the internet, uh, but we could go. Let's read about Malcolm. Let's read about Malcolm, um, the third of Scotland. Malcolm Yeah, Malcolm, you see how they had the how, how they whitewashed that? He was not a he's not a damn you know, this is iconoclasm, man. Alright. You saw as a, a big hypocrite, man. All right, you can read about this. This is uh, from um, ten, no, by uh, one 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 ninety eighty. No, basically uh, the eleventh century. You know, the Scots. You know, so we had uh, we established ourselves, right? That's why we were fighting, right? Because you had uh, you had the Jacobites, you know, which was been um, the Scots, you know, the like the, the, like the Jacobites, um, Slack, yeah, the Jacobites, which were like they're running England and Scotland, and then like there's many wars. That's why if you watch uh, for the Vikings and stuff and uh, Braveheart. Uh, that's a lot of history, man. Um, 
like this guy as well because let's read about the magna carta all right because magna carta basically um the whole constitution now like what they have is it basically based off the magna carta let's get it damn internet i'm so slow Internet's moving super slow, slack your brothers. Yeah, this thing's moving super slow, I don't know why. The Magna Carter, slack it. One second. You have to register your number. Yeah. Magna Carter, slack it. Slaughter Brothers. Yeah, Magna Carta. Alright, so we, we, we establish, you know, colonies and we came to the new world, right? The Magna Carta. Right, uh, for its eighth, eight hundred uh, anniversary. Right, so um, the whole Canadian Constitution, it what is basically is new. Let's uh, put that. I'm just have to speed up. Uh, whoever's watching could also do their own research as well. Um. Constitution. Yeah, so so this Canadian Constitution was established eighteen sixty seven, right? And um, basically, you could read about the uh, certain like lineage or genealogy, but we just go by the spirit. But you know, that's why a lot of us have uh, English or Scottish names or Irish names, right? So, um, okay, yeah, I put, uh, Prince Henry St. Clair, you know, we set up colonies. Like, that's why there's a lot of, here in Canada, I mean, here in uh, Canada, here in Ontario, there's a street called uh, St. Clair here in Toronto. You know? He has braids. And beard. And then he has his cloak. You know? And basically, like, you know, like, that was us. You know, we're wearing cloaks because a lot of people would fight. Would a lot of people would you know like would go to war, and uh, basically it was like it was like symbolic too, right? Of um, you know keeping the laws and stuff, but um, basically so you know certain people found it very feminine because it's basically like it's like a Roman type. Or a Greek custom kind of with the with the with the um with the the whole uh, toga or oh, no, what that was the word but basically it's like like you're like you're uncovering your your like you're basically like um you're you're, you're kind of naked too cause I think that's why uh, King George the second or the third like he passed a bill where you know that they you know that they shouldn't be wearing it whatever because because basically it just brings confusion that's why a lot of these guys they like to wear those type of stuff too even though it's a part of their their scottish rights or different stuff but um basically um i was watching nothing 
you know that song with um what's that with uh, like if you watch that this video with andre 3000 you know he shows you right because um yeah if you watch this song um let's see yeah you see you see this guy has his tongue out you know to um to them cali or whatever idols you know yeah well um, no. i think it's in one of their music videos what's it called Yeah, if you watch this this music video, I'm not going to play it. But um, he says that he's, you know, he's Scottish, right? Because that's why a lot of us, especially in the islands, they have Scottish surnames like Harper, uh, Campbell, Bailey, you know, Ed, you know, Edwards, you know, some big names, you know, because these were royal families, you know. And uh, we lost that way, so let's go with the f uh, cloak. Most lucky, it's going on Google. Google. So Esau's a, a copycat too because he's trying to act like he's like the original Scott. But ultimately, like our people are are are, are scattered amongst the world, like amongst the earth, man, like the elect. So uh, the Lord knows who the elect are, right? Because there's gonna be the wheat and the tares, right? See the cloak, All right? And that was always been our custom. See, that was us. A cloak is a type of uh, loose garment worn over uh, clothing, mostly put, but not away, but not always as out outwear for outdoor wear, serving uh, serving the same purpose as an overcoat. Basically, that's pretty much. It. You know, I might have to get certain things. I'm gonna probably go to uh, when Scotland was Jewish. See where the spirit's gonna lead, Slaka. Yeah. I'm still reading it. Cause the brothers, he he already sent it to me. The brother Jeremiah, he sent that. He sent this. Sent, he sent this to me like years back, but I never really read it. But now I'm, the most has opening my eyes. Yeah, it's kind of internet super slow. It's like yeah. It's alright. What well, other scripture? One second. Okay, let me put um long houses. Yeah, so even here, you know, here in the, uh, in in like over here in the America, in the Americas, Canada and Americas, you know, they had, um, you no know, longhouses, you know. 
so they would do certain ceremonies and you know like that's how we were living we had boats you know watch uh the vikings you know that's a very uh good show if you haven't uh watched it you know For Scotia, you know, because uh, there's a lot of history, man, and that's why um, Esau he he knows exactly who we are and stuff. But our people are so messed up. See this uh, the sages or the sage of Eric the Red, all right, or the Reed, all right. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, let me find let me close with a scripture. Cause now, uh, you know, Esau stole. He, he he's a big time uh, thief, and you know, he stole our our heritage. You know, not knowing who we are, you know, and then want to call himself the Scots and and york and all this stuff and you know that's esau man he's a he's a deceiver then it says three and uh ten and he said i uh, sorry nine genesis three and nine and the lord Power called unto Adam and said unto them, Where art thou? And he said, I have I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. So basically, he went off because he started doing you know Adam, you know with um, with Eve, you know because even though Eve was you know like she was enticed by the serpent, but you know he, uh, you know you know but Adam he. Like he followed after the woman and basically you know like that's how we all fell and this you know like it was all set up in the spirit but basically um uh, you know he was doing into he's going into the things on the left hand side right so the heavenly father was upset so let's go into the etymology to be subtle be shrewd crafty of the craft or beware to take crafty counsel prudence you know, and that's what, you know, Adam was doing on the left hand until the Mosai, until the Heavenly Father, he, he, like he, like he woke him up and he said, who told thee that thou was naked and he, thou hast eaten of the tree whereby I commanded thee that you shall not eat it. And there, there the man, the slacker, and the man said, the woman whom thou gavest to me with me she gave me of the tree and i did and i did eat so basically he he, he went off man because uh you know because even though the, you know even though uh you know like the, even though that eve went off you know he was supposed to you know have his back like his backbone but it was all set up in the spirit and the lord said unto the woman and he's and what is this that thou hast done and the woman said the servant beguiled me and i did eat all right so she went into the left hand because um the serpent was involved in everything the whole consolation and and um you know he basically he drew you know he drawed eve out he you know like he drive her out you know he, he like he put he basically like he did like he deceived her all right and uh basically adam fell you know after that and the lord said the lord power said unto the serpent because thou hast done this thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field so the serpent right the heavenly father cursed the serpent and above every beast of the field and upon that belly shalt thou go and thus shall be the shall be and thus shalt thou be in the uh, um oh. And thus shall that be at the day of thy life. And I'll put, yeah, so basically he was very brought low, you know, during the Middle Ages, you know, the the Vikings or the the or the uh, the the Danes, you know, they were they had a big slave trade, you know, 
they're, you know that the Elamites was in the in the slave trade, man. And Elamites was basically uh they were, the because they, when the Jake was over them, you know they were plundering and this you know, and mashing up, you know the, these Elamites. So if I could find uh if I if I find this uh I have a, a article it's on YouTube, basically um about white slavery, man, and it's real. So if I could, and and I'm gonna share the link. But uh, with that, let us see how praise it do unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Yahweh Kodash. The bonds of the apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the whole family.